harbours are good for photography because there's so much colour. There's wonderful geometry, bows of boats, sterns of boats, water everywhere. And if you can organise them to make good shapes, you can often find a good photograph in any harbour. I rather like looking for geometric shapes. I like reflections. I love the shape of the bow. I love the hull of the boat. And I like that relationship where the water meets the hull of the boat. A seagull is such a part of any harbour, anywhere by the sea. So I thought it would be nice to photograph a bird as a reflection. And to have shutter priority gave me the speed that I wanted I dialed in a higher speed, the aperture uh, adapted, and that gave me the opportunity to freeze the bird in flight, because you don't often appreciate what a lovely thing a bird is in flight, and to freeze it absolutely as its wings are in a particular position, I think can be something really, really beautiful. When I'm making a photograph of a bird, or any moving thing, it's really, really important to know that when you press the shutter release, you've got the picture and that you have got the bird as it flew into the scene, and that's really important. So the LX5 is really quick response rate. Very pleased with it. The thing that stimulates me to want to make a picture usually is the very first thing that I see. So out of the corner of my eye, I might see a combination of shapes that I really like. There's a feature that used to appear in lots of different cameras and I'm very pleased to see that the Lumix LX5 has retained this feature in its multiple exposure. Multiple exposure is essentially just laying one image or two on top of another and it just produces some really interesting results. Oh, this is a this is a, this is a wonderful shop. A mass of colour. I think I could do a little image here, maybe with a panoramic format. Every colour under the sun. Oh, this is a little macro setting on the Lumix. is really excellent. Lovely bands of colour. The lovely thing about this Lumix is a super saturation. Just what's needed to bring out all these blues and yellows and greens and reds. Great, fun picture. Repetition works really well in photography because you can produce a series of repeating shapes. And repeating shapes is comforting. And it invites people to go down an avenue, right down to a vanishing point. And I'm very fond of colonnades, archways, avenues of trees. When there's really bright sunlight, it's sometimes quite difficult to see the LCD screen. And this little accessory, this viewfinder, is great because it means I can see the image almost through the camera. I love photographing something that has within it a sense of history, looking back into the past, looking deep back into the past. And the little macro lens works really well when you want to get in close to reveal all of that history. One of the really good things about a small camera, especially the Lumix, is it's a discreet, creative tool. It's very good for when you're working amongst people. Nobody hardly notices what you're doing. And you can steal a photograph just when nobody's really seeing what you're doing. Very discreet, but very quiet. Now these are a nice contrast to the last colonnaded beach huts. These are bright and colorful. Lovely blue sky behind, good geometry. Lovely, super vibrant colours.
One of the things I like so much about photography is the element of surprise. And just over this wall, I saw this marvellous game of bowls. And it's just really funny to me to see this. People taking it incredibly seriously, really caring hugely about making one ball hit another one. Lots of fun. I hardly think that when Panasonic designed the sports mode in their scene functions menu, they thought that I'd be using it for bowling. It's probably much better for football, a much faster, racier sport. But uh, it seemed perfect, nevertheless, because sometimes they threw the ball and I wanted to be able to get that ball just before it hit the ground. The images of the bowling work really well when I had the grid display on it helped me get a balance. It helped me actually with the rule of thirds, which is quite an important rule. It helped me put the person who was doing the bowling in exactly the right place in the frame. With the LX5, it's just great because there are four different aspect ratios, starting with square and ending with panoramic, and that's that just gives me great latitude for my photography. There are times that I want to interpret something like a funfair in a different way. And I thought I wanted to try and convey a sense of movement. And the best way to do that is a panning procedure. The only way that you can pan successfully is making sure that you've got the lowest ISO right down to 80 on the units. And that will give you a long shutter speed. You just pan a little bit from right to left or left to right. And meanwhile, you've managed to stop the main subject. So it still has a sense of movement. Sometimes I like to get really close to a subject so that I can throw the front out of focus or the background out of focus. And the Leica Sumicron lens does that really well at f2. The nice thing about face detection is that it leaves you free to not worry about any technical things and just concentrates on the face. I was quite surprised that it worked with a pirate's face. Landscape photography is where I'm most at home, but it was such fun photographing all of these different locations. And being in a wonderful summer environment at a seaside resort with lots of people milling around all over the place and lots of busy action and chaos everywhere was just what I needed. It was refreshing and fun, and I thoroughly enjoyed every minute of it. I think the Lumix camera is definitely a very creative tool. It just takes a little bit of familiarity and a little bit of time and then you can produce images that will really last forever. Photographing the lighthouse was challenging because the important thing is one needs to convey a sense of place, a sense of atmosphere, and to a degree emotion. A lighthouse really, really means a lot to people at sea, and I needed to try and suggest that the lighthouse, in a way, is a beacon of hope. A big see underneath it was important to organize and get right and that needed to be seen as clearly as any other part of the picture. To photograph the landscape requires patience, consideration, time and thinking about what we're doing. And then if you can raise a good quality camera like this Lumix, as good a chance as any that you succeed. The important thing is it's the eye.